Discipline's awesome, but if you can feel like you want to do the thing, that's even better. Dopamine is like a hormone inside of us that we used to think is released upon pleasure. So we used to think that, you know, a high dopamine activity was porn or video games. We used to think that, right? But not exactly. Dopamine isn't released on pleasure. It's released on the pursuit to pleasure. So if here is the thing that we think that we want to do, like for example, go and watch porn and fap. Actually, not that much dopamine is released when we fap, especially when you get to that end point. All of it is actually released on the pursuit to that, to drive you towards that goal, which is motivation. So try and remember that dopamine is not simply about pleasure. It's about the pursuit to pleasure. And how it works is so, so interesting because once you understand this thing I'm about to say, you'll change your habits through the day. How dopamine also seems to work is that when you've had a big rise in dopamine, that you've been pursuing something, whether it's, you know, a bad habit like video games or porn, or it's even something good. Like for example, going to the gym and hitting like a personal best on the bench press. When dopamine goes up, it must come down and it does not go back down to the baseline. It goes down below that. So what this means, which has been proven by scientists, is that there is a pain and pleasure, yin and yang kind of way that our body and mind operates. So in other words, the more pleasure that you experience, the more pain that you will experience. And also similarly, if you experience pain, some kind of pain, which I'll clarify soon, you will experience more pleasure, more motivation. So perhaps the reason why we're all so demotivated these days, you know, we don't feel like studying or we don't feel like eating clean or we don't feel like going to the gym. Or, you know, a lot of young guys have this problem. What if that's just because we're down here in dopamine because we've just had too much pleasure with porn, video games, junk food, everything, comforts, 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 and then it has to go down and down and down and down and down and now you're here. And when we're down here, since we don't really understand how this stuff works, we keep trying to have more pleasure because, you know, we don't really feel motivated to go to the gym or to study, so we may as well play more video games, a little bit more pleasure, and then even down further and further and further. I don't think any scientists have really said this, but to me that this kind of sounds like the cause of depression. What if the cause of depression, this huge lack of motivation, this huge lack of pleasure in the world of this feeling of like gray, dull nihilism of darkness and dryness inside of you. What if that's just because we just had too much pleasure previously and now we just feel like we just don't feel anything these days. So what if we reverse this? Because remember it's this like this kind of motion, right? What if we voluntarily decide to experience something bad and we go down? Well, then it's been proven by these scientists that when you do something that is quite painful voluntarily, your dopamine will shoot back up. The greatest thing that has been researched so far from my understanding from Andrew Huberman's podcast is ice baths. Ice baths have been shown to increase dopamine by 400%, four times. But of course, they're not easy. You have to make it relevantly cold to your own standards. So for me personally, if I get even a little bit cold, it's actually quite painful for me compared to my friend, Sam. He's white skin, I'm brown skin, so maybe that's got something to do with it. He can handle cold a lot better than I can. I can handle heat in the sauna a lot better than he can. So he's probably actually releasing more dopamine when me and Sam go to the sauna together because it's easier for me and it's a lot harder for him and I'm probably releasing a lot more dopamine because even a cool bath really like is painful for me. We made a cold one a few days ago with literally no ice. It was just cold water and that was like a huge challenge for me and Sam saying like bro it's not even cold what are you on about and I was literally there like having to like like sing and rap to like distract myself and you know I was following Andrew Human's protocol moving around and stuff and it was deeply painful for me and then I felt amazing afterwards. I think the secret to motivation is that simple.